everybody. In this episode, we're going to talk about truth tables and we're going to create the truth tables using Tinkercad. So I will share this document or this sheet in the um, description below. And so we're going to start with 74LS08 and then I'll make other videos for these. Once you do the first one, the others are really similar. So according to our data sheet that we did last week, we know that the 74LS is an uh, 08 is an AND gate, AND logic. So now we're going to go to our truth table. And from an assignment we did earlier, we have a circuit with four switches that are working. We have four LEDs. We've got a power source. What we want to do is we want to hit this gear button right here and duplicate that so we don't have to do the whole thing over again. And we're simply going to quickly go up top here and we're going to change this to and gates and we can call this 74 ls um, 08 and then just throw your initials on the back of that and we are then going to go over here and type in 74 08 and this right here shows up and it even says right on there that it is a quad and gate and you want to make sure that like you get it either there or there it's going to go right over the top of this divider here. We are going to um, delete this wire right here. So we're gonna use switch one for light one, switch two for light two. We're also going to use switch one for going over here for going into input one. We're gonna go, um, I'm gonna click here and we're gonna go up and over, and we're gonna plug this one into pin uh, 1B, and then we're gonna go uh, anywhere on this right here. I'm gonna go down and over, and I'm gonna bring this. Oh no, why did I? Doesn't wanna, there we go. Doesn't wanna turn the corner. And I'm gonna plug that into this LED right here. I'm gonna change that actually to blue. I'm gonna change this one to turquoise just so we can give it a little bit more um, identification there. And then I'm gonna hit start and I'm gonna show you that if we do, like, oh no, what happened? We have a power problem. So we forgot to power and ground this and we have to look at our data sheet and realize which one's power, which one's ground. The other nice thing is it actually tells you. So this row right here is should be plugged into power I'm gonna make that red. And this one should be plugged into brown. And I'm gonna make that black. All right, now let's try simulating that again. Okay, so light one should turn on. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to the truth table. Truth table says zero, zero. When this one is off, this two is off, then light three is off. So I'm gonna put a zero there. When X and Y, so you could you could call this switch one, you could call this switch two. So these are more identifiers than they are variables. So we need a zero and a one. So here's a zero, here's a one. Hey, light three, still off. I'm gonna put a zero there. All right, the next row says one and a zero. So one, zero, on, off, this light, still off. And finally, the last row is, or the last situation is one and two are on and light three is on. So that shows us that this is an AND gate because this switch and this switch have to be on for this to be on. And that's why in engineering, you know, name calling things in engineering is, is obvious. Engineers are not creative people when we, when we name call things. This is an AND gate because when this switch and this switch are on, it turns on. So the last thing you want to want to do is share this link, invite some people, hit the copy, go over here and paste the link right there. You've got a working truth table. You've got a working link. You've got a working circuit. Good job, everybody.